In this video, we would like to derive the equation for the pressure experienced by a gas molecule based on kinetic theory of gases. So, let us consider things like, let us consider a gas, an ideal gas. In a closed enclosure, in a cubic enclosure, cubical side of length L length width width all of them are equal to l so let us consider a gas molecule initially we are taking only one gas molecule let mass of that gas molecule is equal to m let that gas molecule is moving parallel to yz axis or that is moving along x axis let its velocity along x axis is equal to vx we further assume that as being kinetic theory of gas all collisions are elastic what do you mean by elastic is there is no loss of energy and even when it collides the wall of the uh, container they comes back with the same velocity because they are elastic there is no loss of energy taking that basic things into consideration let me draw a cube so this is a cube just for a second yeah so let us consider a gas molecule moving with a velocity vx mass is m the length of that container is equal to L. Now, this gas, this gas molecule comes, collides this wall and comes back, being elastic collision, comes back with the same velocity Vx itself. Therefore, I can find out the force acting on the gas molecule, force due to that gas molecule, along x-axis I can call that as fx as change in the momentum along x-axis with respect to time so what is the change in the momentum momentum final mvx minus momentum initial I will write minus vx because the gas molecule is moving in the opposite direction vx and vx are because it's elastic collision coming back with the same velocity it goes to a distance l comes back to another distance l so the time is you know displacement distance equal to velocity into time so time equal to distance by velocity distance is 2l by velocity is vx so in the place of dt i can write 2l by vx so this value will be 2 m vx by 2l this vx goes to the numerator this 2 and 2 can be cancelled that is m vx square by l that is the force on one gas molecule along x axis right but there are so many gas molecules so each of them will have a different kinds of force so to get the total force along x axis we need to add all of them so the total force along x-axis is force of the first molecule, force of the second molecule and so on. The all of them has to be added up. So when you add all of them, you will get a formula something like how much is that adding all of these things from this equation. All gas molecules having the same mass, they are traveling through same distance here. First molecule is moving with Vx1, second molecule is moving with Vx2 and so on. They are all moving with different velocities. That's the force on each of the gas molecule. Similarly, say if you want to calculate the uh, pressure. So after calculating the force, we can calculate the equation for the, we are, our aim is to actually to derive expression for the pressure. So to find the pressure along x axis to get pressure along x axis we can say pressure is 
force by area. Being a cube, area is a L square. We have already derived expression for Fx as m by l vx1 square vx2 square and so on by area by area is another l square so it will become totally m by l cube vx1 square plus vx2 square and so on that is for one gas molecule but there are so many gas molecules like that now so for n molecules to get that picture of n Let's multiply and divide with that n. n is the number of gas molecules that are present, right? So what happens then? m into n multiplied. Let's divide that by n. So m is the mass of each gas molecule. n is the number of molecules. So that will give the total mass of the gas by l cube is nothing but volume see this this is what is this value is see this carefully square of gas molecule plus square of other gas molecule plus and so on by number of gas molecules this value is called something like rms velocity root mean square velocity of course without root so what i can say is v rms square if it is having a root you could have it called rms velocity but there is no root so you can call that like a root mean square velocity or rms velocity right so but this is the pressure only along x-axis similarly we will get pressure along y-axis also as something like density into v rms square because they behave identically in all directions Pressure along z direction is also the same v rms square. Now we can say the total pressure is pressure along x axis, pressure along y axis, pressure along z axis, and all of them are identical in nature. So pressure along x axis is 1 by 3 times of total pressure. So what is that total pressure is 1 by 3 times of px plus py plus pz. Simplifying that further will give us an equation that P along one direction due to the gas molecule is 1 by 3 times of Px is Vrms along x square or Vrms along y square and Vrms along z square and so on. That's the equation for the uh, total pressure. So I can say that is, of course, density is also there. So we can say 1 by 3 density. This is all we can call it like a RMS. This is uh, effective RMS velocity when you add all the directions of x axis, y axis, and z axis. Where you mean to say C1 equal to Vxi cap plus Vyj cap plus Vz k cap. So add all of them, we'll get an effective RMS velocity. Thus, we get an equation for the pressure experienced by a gas molecule is 1 by 3 rho square of RMS velocity square. That's the pressure that we get for a gas molecule using a kinetic theory of gases. This is one of the macroscopic property pressure. And RMS velocity is a microscopic property of the gas molecule. So, the entire kinetic theory of the gas main purpose is to explain macroscopic properties of the gas basing on the microscopic properties of gas molecules. That's what our aim itself, right? So, in the further video, we can uh, discuss this pressure and temperature relations and kinetic energy relations. That's it for, the, for this video. Thank you for watching.